I just wanted to do a little update on where I currently stand with my ketamine treatment. I'm pretty sure I said in a couple videos ago that I was having it again. And I finished this course of treatment. Um, it was three days long with the dose increasing each day, which always happens when I go, the dose always increases. Um, but it got to its highest point this time, and I'm not even sure what that was at. But it was high. Um, some things were different this time. And um, it was pretty much my mom's fault, except for one, I think. But um, I'm not blaming her for it. She literally said it was her fault. So... One thing you can see is my skin is clearing up a lot, so I'm really happy about that. But anyways, back to the ketamine. The first two days went as expected. I get knocked out really fast because of the dose being so high. Um, but it really messes up your sleep schedule, so that's why I'm up right now at like 3.30 in the morning. Because I'm not asleep during it the whole time. Um, like I said in another video, it's like being in a coma with your eyes open because I can't hear or see anything and I don't move, but my eyes are open so I'm not technically sleeping until the infusion of four hours is done and then I sleep it like all off. For a really long time when I get home and all through the car ride and I'm not like aware of being moved into the car because people have to carry me um, and I'm completely out like I don't wake up I'm like in a really really deep sleep and um, then when I eventually wake up later at night I am awake because I slept for like seven hours and it causes probably the most difficult thing about ketamine for me is the sleep schedule. Um, being up all night, I was up till like four the other night. Now it's well, it's technically Sunday because it's three thirty in the morning, but it's like Saturday night in my opinion because that's how I just do things until I go to bed. It's still Saturday, um, to me, even though it's not. But I went with my mom to her work this afternoon from 12 to 2, but I slept till 11.40 and somehow got there at like 12.15 magically by like getting dressed crazy and eating fast. And it makes you like ketamine doesn't make you hungry, at least not for me. So like I didn't even have dinner today. I had like, I had some quinoa salad and I think a Lara bar, which is like one meal. Like I'm just not hungry. I'll be thirsty, but I'm not hungry. Um, what was really bad about, and I went to work um, but then I came home and I was up, I was up, I was up, and then I fell asleep at like six and then woke up at, I don't know, some time to, to take my meds and now I'm up again. So hopefully by Monday this will be settled and like I'll sleep not as late tomorrow not to level something if it's like 10 that would be great but I also don't want to get like five hours of sleep so I want to make sure you know if I'm up till four then if I sleep till 10 that's only six hours so it's hard because sleep deprivation is a big um, thing with seizures causing seizures triggering seizures really which leads me to why ketamine was so hard yesterday I take Versed, um, I don't know if that comes as an oral medication, I don't think so, um, 
but during ketamine, before ketamine, because it helps take the hallucinations and the side effects down and also continue like through the whole thing like it was running constantly because my dose is so high that they don't want it to wear off but and you can't take medications like I'm sure if you needed like a really like important medication during that time they would just run an IV but you can't take oral medications during the infusion because you're so out of it like you're not allowed to eat or drink um which doesn't matter because I'm completely out of it and have no idea what's going on. But my mom didn't give me my medication for three o'clock, which I'd already been home because I finished at like 12 or one um, because I was sleeping and she thought, well, because I had Versed through that whole time, it's in the same category as my other seizure medications, so I'd be fine. And then she forgot to give me my 10.30 medication. So I missed two doses, I believe, of seizure medication. I actually had a seizure before this though, um, which was going into ketamine. And I had my seizure medication in the morning because I am allowed to take my morning meds, which is with like a sip of water and that's it. Because you're not allowed to eat or drink for like four or six hours before because it's an anesthetic and it's like going into surgery kind of thing, how you're not supposed to eat or drink for a certain period. But I did have that. So I don't know why I had that seizure. Um, but literally I forgot how to talk. Literally, I wasn't speaking all morning, really. I was ex just extremely quiet, and I just got myself ready. It's, it was really early for me, because we had to be there by 8, so we left at like 7. That means I'm up just at like 6.45, pretty much, to like, pr I'm pretty much already wearing my clothes to just grab some, some stuff and brush my teeth and leave. Um, and feed Sonoma, and that's about it. But the whole car ride there, I did not say one word. My mom just thought I was really tired, but I also wasn't sleeping. Um, I had my chair reclined back, and I usually recline my chair and sleep, or I let sitting up and like the heated seat on, just like talking to my mom. And usually it'll just be like, yeah, groggy, but. Sometimes I'll be a little more awake, actually, and we'll be, like, singing to the radio and stuff. Or sometimes I sleep on the way there, and my mom wakes me up when I get to, um, the ketamine center. So, and if anyone is looking for a ketamine place in the Northeast, please direct message me on Instagram on Chronically Cassidy. And I will refer you to where I go because I love it there. So anyways, I wasn't speaking the whole time. My mom was saying some things and then she kept saying, oh, I know you're tired. I know you're tired. But I was literally sitting up and I had like this look on my face. And I was thinking in my head, am I going to have a seizure? Like, is this a pre-seizure thing? I felt fine. Like, there's no random pain or anything, but I could not speak. And I was having this, I was having this weird feeling in my throat. And once we got there, um, my doctor had to, like, rush from somewhere. So he was, like, a minute late. We got there before him. And we were just sitting in the parking lot. And I was thinking, oh, my God, my doctor needs to get here. Like, I need to see him. I need to see him. Like, and he pulled in the parking lot. And I just got out of the car as fast as I could and I walked up to him and I kept going like this. And like I had this complete distress look on my face and he's like, Cass, what's wrong? Cass, what's wrong? Cass, what can I do? What's wrong? What's going on? And I was like looking at my mom like she was on the, getting out of the car, but she didn't know what was going on. And then I just kept pointing at him and like trying to say, I was trying to use sign language in the car, but 
but I couldn't remember to say speak. Um, and my mom doesn't really know sign language. I've taught her a couple things that I learned from Bob and autism, but I need to like learn a couple because I couldn't like, I couldn't do it. I couldn't talk. Um, I could think of what I wanted to say in my head, but I couldn't create speech. Like I didn't remember how to form words and I was just standing there and I was like you know like help and throat and go doing tight and like trying to like use all the hand things that I could to show what I was trying to get across and then he was like okay okay let's get your mom ready get your mom and then I was holding onto his holding on to him walking in they walked me in super fast and then they got me onto the table bed, whatever you want to call it, that I get ketamine, and he was started talking to my mom, like, what's going on with her, and I, then I, um, she explained how, oh, she was quiet on the way here, and, oh, that was unusual, the things, and she was sitting up weird, and she wasn't responding to me, and she just, like, nodded her head and things, and it was different, but I, I just thought she was tired, and, they gave me a piece of paper to try to write things down, um, to communicate through writing, and I don't remember what I wrote. Um, I just remember writing O2 at one point that I wanted oxygen, and I think I did some shaking of yes and no with my head, and, um, they, he gave me Versed right away, so I got Versed for the seizure to, like, stop it, and I had some twitching and some flailing and some, they gave me the oxygen, and it was just really bad. It was a really uncomfortable feeling, and mom said that years ago, I used to have seizures where I couldn't, in the beginning, like, one of the auras or signs that I had was forgetting how to speak and having trouble talking and this wasn't just having trouble talking like a stutter or slurred speech which has ha also happened before it was literally not being able not knowing how to talk which is extremely strange when you're in that position and you like can't speak and I can't tell anyone what's like going on and I'm just like trying to write a couple words but like I'm not sure what to do and I'm just confused and you're scared and I'm like thank god my doctor's here because he's an anesthesiologist you know we've got all the equipment here and it's not like I have to be in a hospital because that would have ended up happening and it was just terrible and with the Versed and um I don't know if they gave me anything else. I think they just gave me a good amount of Versed and then my doctor was like holding me down and talking to me and giving me the oxygen. I finally like came around and then I started like whispering and then they weren't sure if they should continue with the ketamine because they were just like really confused with like how things were going because it didn't start off on the right foot at all. And then finally I got to the point where I could like sit up like by myself and then I was talking and explaining the whole thing like to them like yeah I couldn't speak like I started you know when I was getting there I started my legs weren't walking right I started collapsing into my doctor's arms and he had to pick me up and put me onto the table and so that's when my mom was like yeah she's gonna have a seizure. Like, this is it. That was a whole aura of, like, 40 minutes on the way there because that was the whole drive. And I wasn't sure if it was a seizure. I didn't know what to do to tell my mom anything. So I just sat there quietly the whole time and was just hoping this isn't going to be anything. This is going to go away. Like, I'm fine. And just trying to be, like, calm and relaxed. But yet, like, I knew there was something wrong. So eventually we decided to go on with the ketamine treatment and that all went fine. Um, got home later and 
my mom missed the doses of medication, like I had said. So I ended up having three seizures um, on this day, which was Friday. Um, one before ketamine and then two after. And I had this excruciating rib pain. I was asking my mom for this really, really extremely painful medication that I have to give myself. And I absolutely hate it because it makes me scream. But I was asking her for it because I was in so much pain. Like, I was like, I'm going to have to go to the hospital. I was like, call my doctors. Like, call my primary care physician. Call my anesthesiologist. Like, I don't care. Like, call someone. Help me. Help me. And I was in so much pain. And I had to have three doses of that extremely painful medication. I had to give myself an injection. I don't even remember what it was. I think of pain medication. And I took a ton of oral, um, the stuff that, because I could swallow and I could talk, but barely just because I was in so much pain that it was like hard to speak and like it was too hard to move. And I was laying on the bathroom floor downstairs and then I finally got upstairs because I was feeling a little better. And then it came back, which was like the third one. And then I was stuck in a bathroom upstairs. And then my mom finally got me into my room and she was just like talking to my doctors and like, oh my gosh, like, what do you? And it went on for like forever, it seemed like. And I finally fell asleep in my bed because I was like, like oh my gosh, like, are all these meds going to kick in? And I remember telling my mom, like, if this dose doesn't work, you need to call the ambulance. Like, I felt like I was dying. It was one of the most painful days of my life, painful nights of my life. Um... Even though the seizure in the morning, when I couldn't talk, was really scary. The ones at night were worse because I was in so much pain. And giving the medication wasn't any fun. And it was just so horrific. And, you know, I was getting, like, texts from my friends, like, because my phone kept, like, buzzing. And, I, like, I couldn't answer anyone because I was in so much distress. So I was wondering, like... People probably thought, like, what the heck's going on with her? Because I always, like, answer people back. And it was just a really terrible day. I'm so glad that I was got to my doctor in time for that first seizure so I didn't collapse in the car because I was only a few minutes away from collapsing and got in with my doctor. And now... No, I took all my seizure medications today and have been fine today. I'm just up because the ketamine really messes with my sleep. And I'm hoping that tomorrow will be another good day because today was a good day. Um, we're planning on going to Ocean State Job Lot and getting some pajamas that are on sale because I love flannel pajamas. And we haven't been able to find them at Dollar General. They're actually really great ones there, but they've lasted me like years and they're finally wearing out and like getting holes in them after me having them since like senior year of high school. So that's like a long time ago, like five years ago or something. I was like 17, 18, 19, 21, 22. Yeah, five years ago. And um, we have some pumpkins that we want to paint and decorate. Um, my aunt's spending the long weekend here, so that's also nice, so we're going to do that stuff with her. And, yeah, that's about it to our plans for the weekend. But Friday was an extremely hard day. I'm glad this session of ketamine is done because I can finally, like, start waking up at a normal, more normal time and going to bed at an earlier time. And back to eating normal meal schedule and getting out, being with Sonoma um, instead of, you know, him being home for those four hours whenever I have it. And hopefully that this medication, this round of ketamine will last me a long time because it's been the highest dose 
So I marked in my calendar when the last day was, and we're gonna see how long this round can last me before I have to go in again. So I really don't wanna have to go in for a long time. And I'm just going to keep praying for great days to come. 